Hello and welcome back to my channel if you do not know. My name is Ollie and today's video is my May favourites. Everything I've been indulging in throughout May and has been my favourite, everything I've been loving. I always explain what this video is but it's very self-explanatory, I do it every month so you probably should know what this is but anyway. So let's get straight on to the video. First favourite of May is this. This looks like a really big ice scratcher for your car, but it's not. This is a back stretcher. You lie on this and it's got three different settings. So this is setting number one for beginners because I'm a beginner. But it's basically if you've got like bad posture or like basically just to kind of fix your back, align and put a curve back in your back because like you're like naturally like up straight. So I'm like, you know what I mean? So I bought this and you lie on it and it's like got these bumps and it's like really like comfortable to lie on. But it's on setting one, there's also a setting two and a setting three for when you're a little bit more curved. I don't know if I actually need this, but like I know that my back hurts sometimes. Oh, so it's called the Brava Adjustable Back Stretcher and Posture Corrector. That's that. The next thing, which is a massive throwback to lockdown one when this was a huge trend and I missed that trend so I came back to it. Now these are the, oh my gosh, it's vegan sweets and I bought a kilogram of them. Quite an empty bag now, but can you see them? Can you kind of see them? I mean, they do smell amazing. And these are literally just like fizzy sweets. So it's things like cola bottles, there's rings, there's strawberries. This is one kilogram of fizzy vegan sweets and I've been loving these throughout May, believe you me. I ordered these a fair few times in lockdown one, and I hadn't had them since lockdown one. I was like, you know what, I really, really miss sweets. Always buy from this brand, but oh my gosh, it's vegan brand, because I think really affordable and really good. I'm a bag fire degradable, so. So that's my sweets. Favourite sweets in them are the watermelon ones because I love the flavour of watermelon. The next one is this. You may have seen this one in my What I Bought Drunk video. This is my Starlight Projector slash slash speaker. This is really good. And I did forget to show what it looks like turned on in that video, so I'm sorry, I will insert a clip of what it looks like turned on in this video. So this is it off, obviously. This is with a blue light. This is red and blue. This is blue, red and green. And then this is with white in it as well. My favourite one is the white with a bit of blue in it. I like it like this. I can also add this laser to it, which I don't actually like the laser. You see the stars, I don't like that. Oh, also bear in mind, I'm filming this during the daytime. Like the blinds are closed well. So you can't, it's normally a lot more prominent than this. Yeah, but I don't like the laser, I just don't see a point in it. So I always turn the laser off. And I normally just have it like this. And then this is for remote so you can like change it loads with like the speed or the colours or the microphone or the volume or skip songs. Like that is it. And it is really, really good. Because this is a speaker and the light, like when I'm like chilling with an incense on or something and I put this on with like the chill playlist through it because it kind of pairs it together. Really cool. It's cosy, it's cushy. Like I just love it. Starlight projector, galaxy projector thing. You know what? Everyone calls it a starlight galaxy projector but for me it looks more like water. It looks a lot more like coloured water in my opinion and I love the sea so that's great for me. Now moving on to the inserted section of my favourites. The first one is a new TV show which is not new. It's series two of a TV show so it's a new season of this TV show and that is High School Musical, the musical, the series. You guys, it's really, really good. So I watched series one in lockdown because it came out and I was like, you know what, why not? Like, I've got nothing else to do and I binged that pretty quick actually because I'm pretty sure that came out all in one or I watched it all when I'd already come out and it was already on there. So I binged that in about two days, three days and I was obsessed with it. I literally sobbed at the ending. If you saw me exposing my private Snapchat, you would have seen my reaction to that show at the ending because it's just such a good show and it's such a nostalgic things I loved the High School Musical movies growing up like they're iconic I absolutely loved them so it's a bit like nostalgic and it's a bit like oh we're back at East High and like it feels very East High but like with a new twist really really good show and I actually love it a lot we do cover a lot from a movie but we also do a lot of original songs and they're actually really good so my next inserted favorites are musicians there's two musicians who link very closely to High School Musical the musical the series so it's quite obvious who it is but I'm gonna start with Joshua Bassett Joshua Bassett plays the main character in High School Musical, the musical, the series. But I recently discovered his actual music. Obsessed, obsessed. He gives me very Harry Styles vibes, like, which is probably why I like him so much. Like, I think his music is just so good. I mean, acting, he's great, but his music is so good, which is controversial for me to be both obsessed with both of these two right now. But then it's not at the same time, because they're both musicians. Like, I can appreciate both of their music without hating on anyone, because you don't need to hate on people, okay? Don't do that. Olivia Rodrigo right now, oh my God. Like, Olivia Rodrigo is killing it at the moment, and we're all hook, blind, synced with her. Like, her new album, Sour, is everything. And what is even more amazing is her album, from the minute I leave my house in the morning to 
to drive to work. Her album is the exact amount of time that my drive is. I leave home at the start of an album and get to work at the end of the album. And it's just like such a good album. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I'm not even going for a breakup. I'm really happy in a relationship. If I was going for a breakup, I'd be fine now. I was driving with aid to it and the rain was just like pouring and pouring. And I sat there and I felt like it was in a movie. I was like, oh. And I was, then I was like, oh wait, I'm literally so happy in a relationship, yet I'm crying to breakup songs. Oh well. But Joshua Bassett, Olivia Rodrigo, their music right now is everything. And that brings me to the end of my May favourites. Quite a short one, quite, quite a random one. My favourite nonetheless. Like, my favourite thing from this one, I think, is definitely the Joshua Bassett and Olivia Rodrigo music. Their music right now ha, is all I'm listening to right now. Like, Harry, Beyonce, I'm sorry, you're on the bench. Only for a minute or two, you'll be back soon. Joshua and Olivia, they are full steam ahead. What can you do? When something's good, you need to appreciate it. It's definitely I've been loving. If you've not listened to Olivia's album, go and listen to it and get your tissues up the ready because it's a... It's a heart jerk, tear jerker. It is a tear jerker. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss another video from me. And I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you.